He's the man in charge of training the Afghan army. General Patiani is under pressure, though the 53-year-old is more qualified than most for the role. Before the Russian invasion of Afghanistan, he spent four years as a student at a military academy in Moscow. He returned to his homeland, joined the Afghan army, and when the Russians invaded, he fought with them against the Mujahideen. One of the worst memories from that time was when I was a battalion commander in the south. Our tank fell into a pit. Another tank came to pull us out, but it also got stuck. We were surrounded for three days and nights, stuck inside the tank. Rocket propelled grenades were not available at that time, so the enemy were firing on us with clashing coves and light weapons, but we were inside the tank, so they couldn't harm us. After three days, helicopters and other reinforcements came to rescue us. After the Russians left, General Patiani rejoined the Afghan army. During the Taliban's reign, he kept a low profile. As soon as they were toppled, he signed up once again. At that time, when I was the battalion commander, we didn't have any vehicles or weapons, old or new. We started with the coalition forces from nothing. Since 2001, we have witnessed the Afghan army make great progress and increase in numbers. Last year saw the first graduation of female army officers. The army has 150,000 personnel to date. Their aim to reach more than 170,000 by this November. The retention of these soldiers depends a lot on good leadership, something which General Patiani is frequently praised for. Anyone who leads a group, he or she should be aware of all of the problems of his or her subordinates. Their problems should be solved. A soldier needs three things. First, good accommodation. Second, their salary should be given on time. And third, their vacations. If a commander or leader takes these three points in mind, I think a soldier will never leave his duty. Mel Preen in Afghanistan for the NATO channel.